Hey Taurus, how are you? It is time for your February 8th through the 15th reading Sun, Moon, Rising Taurus. We are looking at Twin Flame Soulmates and I want to just alert you. We are opening up some special private readings. Check out the links below. We're doing a special Divine Feminine reading. For those of you who want that, that's awesome. And then uh, also just regular private readings, soulmate readings. Also, we're going to do a special um, Valentine's Day edition uh, on February 12th. We're doing um, a special live reading, and um, that should be really cool uh, for um, not only soulmates, but also twin flame journey people, people are, who are in that uh, soulmate, really uh, big time soulmate twin flame connection. Um, and having a hell of a time of it. And I can say that to you because that is me also. So, <laughs> all right, Taurus, here we go. We're going to look at uh, your connection, what's going on. It could be new people coming in too. So if you're single, please do not give up hope because there is a lot going on right now. The readings have been just kind of amazing to me. So without further ado, here we go, Taurus. What's going on for you? King of Cups. Um, you are either in love with this person or they are in love with you. So let's see how, <laughs> is this a new relationship or is this, this seems like a, uh, com not committed relationship. No, no. This seems like something new to me, but again, like Scorpio, there's some, there's some issues here. There's also some really nice feelings here. And it's just about sort of getting together, okay? Getting on the same page. <laughs> you, my darlings, Taurus, um, I am feeling like this is you. This is feelings you have for this new person freaking you out a little bit. Um, and <laughs> you want to, like, you know how in Soulmates, well... Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Soulmate relationships, a twin flame especially, the energy flips back and forth, okay? So that King of Cups feels like you, and then I see this, and I see this, and there's other things going on. It does feel like you to me, though. There's feelings here. You want it to go fast. Uh, there is a little fear that the other person doesn't feel as strongly as that. Maybe an air sign. So air signs have a tendency to be very all about thoughts, right, ideas. It's very cerebral connection. Not as much of a feeling connection. You're a Taurus, so you're really grounded and you love beautiful surroundings. You really like it to be stable, okay? And if you're connecting with an air sign or a Cancerian here or a fire sign, uh, they have different priorities, let's just say. <laughs> and it's causing you a little bit of agita, okay? It's causing you a little bit to be, like, blocking your heart and feeling out in the cold. You want to really move it forward. And I, the, the reason that makes me feel like you got scared about it is that they are queen of swords. So super logical, like... You know, you're talking about love, and you're talking about feelings, and they're talking about thoughts and ideas. It's just a different approach to a relationship. They want to, like, talk about, you know, Bob Dylan, and they want to talk about philosophy, and they want to talk about politics, and they want to talk about whatever the thing that they, baseball, whatever they want to talk about. And you're like, okay, I love you, and, like, now it's freaking me out that you're not saying that back to me. But guess what? They love you. <laughs> so maybe they're just not showing it because they're feeling they're they're sword people. All right. So they're feeling a little bit like there's, you know, this is um, they love you. All right. Flat out. But this is a lot of watery energy in a very masculine sort of way. Very. And this is a watery energy. Whoops. Come here. This is a masculine energy, very watery, in a very masculine way. So this is a more balanced feeling. Your person has a more balanced feeling. Um, and it is causing them to feel a little bit like hot and cold. You're Oh, okay. Hot and cold. You're playing hot and cold with them a little bit. It's your fear 
that they, even though they're very verbal, air sign, they may not be sharing feelings. And they get afraid, and you get afraid, and then they get afraid. It's like a chain reaction. Okay, and um, what settles the whole thing down is an offer of sex. <laughs> There's just this like, okay, when we're in this feeling place, it's freaking us out. So let's ground it in a little, a little uh, fire, a little passion, uh, and make it feel more earthy, right? Make Taurus, of course, right? You want to make it feel real. Okay, and all this other stuff is very ethereal, especially this person, very airy. Okay, even though they love you, you love them, there's a disconnection in terms of how you're showing it, how you're saying it, how you're reflecting it to the other one. And so you're like, the great equalizer is sex. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so your person, you're like, now you're like together in the boat, right? And this is another, so there's passion here. And now there's this sense of us being together. Sense of us being, because this is swords, still swords. But look, now we're in the same boat. Literally, now we're in the same boat. So the sex, the, the passion, you have found middle ground. You have found common ground. And it took you a while to get there because these are like really big fear, fear cards. And uh, out in the cold, uh, trapped, feeling, ugh. And sometimes, um, sometimes when we are like new, newly in love, which I feel this is, it's a really, that's a very stressful time for a relationship because one person wants to say it. They're not sure if the other person's feeling it, although they're feeling it. Like you can, you know, when someone loves you, you know, when someone is like actually in love with the person that you are. And sometimes, sometimes an offer of passion, an offer of sex may send them running the other way because it's like, if I wasn't sure about how you love me, then I'm sure as hell not going to let you have my body because what if you don't love me, right? But in this instance, it feels like that grounds it. It feels like that is a way of you getting in the same boat. It's a way of you getting in the same boat as opposed to the swords energy here of, you know, overthinking a little bit, feeling like, uh, I don't know. I love them, but wow, do they love me back? Um, so we're going to go a little deeper. Let's get the, let's get the universe to chime in for you. What's going on? Uh, how do you move forward? Uh, messages from them. How are they looking at the situation? The universe will then tell us how this plays out. And then we'll get Archangel Michael to chime in. I'm pointing over here because this is where his cards are. Okay. Uh, so in case you're wondering. All right. So uh, there's, a, and, uh, there's a link down here to click for the extended. So if you want to see more of this reading, click on that link and come on over. All right. See you in a bit.